A stunning, racially diverse cast, history, romance, sounds like the perfect recipe for a show to binge watch. But we're not the only ones. Netflix series Bridgerton is taking the celebrity world by storm with A-listers addicted to the show and rightfully so. Let's find out which celebrities are hooked onto Bridgerton and why. First we have Kim Kardashian. That's right, with none other than Kim K binge watching the series. When the second series premiered, it was watched over a record-breaking 193 million hours in just its debut weekend. And Kim Kardashian was one of the many excited for the show to return. Nicola Claflin, who plays Penelope Featherington, was overjoyed to hear that her favorite was also one of the 63 million fans tuned into Bridgerton. Taking to her Instagram stories, she revealed how super duper excited she was and we feel you, Kimmy. Up next, Mila Kunis. Season 2 is currently the most watched Netflix show and for good reason. During an appearance on the Today Show, Mila Kunis confessed that she stayed up past midnight watching the show with bated breath, eager to know what would happen next. I mean, we can all relate to that, right? Her husband, Ashton Kutcher, joked that she was cheating on him with the show. Season 1 of Bridgerton is easily ranked number 1 on Netflix's list of most popular English language shows based on hours watched in the first 28 days of the streaming service. After its release on December 25th, 2020, the first season received 625.5 million hours of viewing. That's a lot of hours. Bridgerton is also attracting some actual royals. Well, ex-royals. And then we have Sarah Ferguson. The Duchess of York was quoted saying that she is obsessed with the drama, praising its strong tone along with the way it depicts women as figures with strength and agency. Sarah has already watched the show twice and is keeping tabs on the shooting location. In Too Deep, Sarah, we get it. Bridgerton is the first of Shonda Rhimes' projects to air after she left ABC and negotiated a huge multi-year agreement with Netflix. The show is based on Julia Quinn's best-selling books, which is full of Easter eggs and points towards many directions that the show could take next season. Based on an eight-novel series, the show has already been renewed for a third and fourth season on Netflix. Psst, we have heard that the show might be on for eight total seasons. Next is Drew Barrymore. Barrymore, a true Hollywood icon, is next on the list, and it's everyone's favorite sweetheart, Drew Barrymore. She's claimed to being a massive fan of the show. Drew actually had the opportunity to interview Bridgerton actors, Reggie Jean Page and Phoebe Dynavor, on an episode of her talk show. And it was then that Drew stated that she loved the show and that it motivated her to use a dating app again. Yep, Bridgerton has people jumping in the dating pool again. Audiences instantly became obsessed with Simon Bassett and Daphne Bridgerton's love story, and their chemistry led some fans to believe that sparks were flying between co-stars in real life. Now now we have Gabriel Union. The next person on the list is actress Gabriel Union, who has binge watched the famous Netflix drama with her husband, retired NBA player Dwayne Wade. They were so taken with the show that they recorded some Bridgerton inspired footage, which they later shared on TikTok. How cute is that? We're all for couples watching shows together. Next, Balemi Young. From one hit show to another, scandal actress Balemi Young, who is most known for her role as Melody, Melly Grant, is another actress that makes our list today. She lauded showrunner Chris Van Dusen, who previously collaborated with Rhymes on Scandal. The actress seems to enjoy the show so much that she said in an interview that she would want to see her Pomeranian Razor appear as a guest on the second season. And then we have Chloe Fineman. Let's move on to actress Chloe Fineman, another Hollywood celebrity who's obsessed with the Netflix series as we are. Chloe appears to have seen the show with unmatched attention since her Saturday Night Live portrayal of Daphne Bridgerton is flawed so if actress Phoebe Dynavor ever needs someone to fill in on set for a day or two, we think Chloe would be an ideal replacement. Speaking about Phoebe, the show's popularity was such that Phoebe Dynavor, who plays Daphne Bridgerton, became an overnight celebrity, with countless other celebrities swooning over the passionate relationship she shares with Reggie Jean Page. Bridgerton has gone on to become one of Netflix's most popular shows, so much so that it's grabbed the attention of a famous face from another one of Netflix's hit shows, Queer Eye. Next is Jonathan Van Ness. He took to Twitter to confess his love for Bridgerton, expressing how big of a fan he is, especially fascinated with Nicola Coughlin, who played Penelope Featherington on the show. Bridgerton is known for its steamy scenes, particularly between Phoebe Dynavor and Reggie Jean Page's characters, and we have a feeling that's half the reason for the show's popularity. Oh, and consider this a public service message to never watch the show around your parents. But you know what's 
awkward, Phoebe herself watches the show with her parents, siblings, and grandparents. Awkward. And also, Chelsea Peretti. Who's more sassy than Gina Linetti from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Queen of sass. Chelsea Peretti is also a fan of the Netflix hit. Although she's a little worried about the PG rating of the show, and rightly so, while binge-watching the romance drama, the Brooklyn Nine-Nine alum turned to her Twitter, raising the question if Bridgerton was watchable for a toddler. Nicola Coughlin added her seal of approval saying, yes, they love it. It's the logical sequel to Baby Shark. Speaking of children, if you're still unsure about the show, imagine Pride and Prejudice and Gossip Girl having a child. And that child is Bridgerton. With the exception of Japan, the show has charted in the top 10 in 83 countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Brazil, France, India, and South Africa. Joe Jonas is another on this list. So this guy's been told he looks like a character out of Bridgerton, and he decided to run with it. Partnering with Tan Quare, the American singer-songwriter dressed up in his finest vintage suit to pose. The steps to becoming a Bridgerton involve dressing up, sipping, pinkies must always be up, and dancing. So Joe Jonas is already 80% there. So if you're someone who hasn't watched the series yet, you might be wondering why these celebrities, along with all of their friends, are fangirling over this show. Trust me, there is a method to this madness. First, there's the drama. Bridgerton is the perfect cross between Scandal, a Jane Austen movie, Gossip Girl. It's Downton Abbey and The Crown with a lot of razzmatazz. Did we mention there's a narrator spilling all the tea and it's voiced by none other than Julie Andrews? The main plot revolves around Daphne, Phoebe Dynavor, the eldest Bridgerton daughter who enters the marriage market. There are a lot of parties and dances where young women are introduced to young men, who then call on their favorites at home to be assessed by their families for appropriateness. Ugh, and we thought that dating in 2022 was difficult. And then there's the eye candy. In the words of our queen, Taylor Swift, God, I love the English. The show is full of a stunning cast, but Reggie Jean Page is on another level. The Zimbabwean-born British actor plays the Duke of Hastings, Bridgerton's most powerful man, and Daphne's love interest. The 31-year-old wonderfully portrays the dashing eligible bachelor type tall, dark, and attractive with a dash of Darcy vibes. Yum. Next is the fashion. Let's just say everyone in this show is serving looks. Bridgerton is a wonderful visual treat set in the early 19th century. To give the show a more modern feel, costume designers Ellen Mjornik and series creator Chris Van Dusen incorporated some modern features and colors into the Bridgerton outfits while keeping the classy look intact as well. But this meant that they couldn't rely on costume houses for rental or purchases, and that all of the costumes for the series had to be custom made. Miranik and her colleagues created about 7,500 items for the first season of the show. Over the course of eight months, Phoebe Dynavor's characters Daphne had 104 distinct outfit changes. Number four, location. Our eyes can't handle the backdrop of Bridgerton, which just like the fashion is iconic. Although the series is set in London, the majority of the scenes were shot in Bath or York. Wilton House's grounds were used for Hyde Park, while Summerlee's grounds were used for Hampstead Heath. The facade of the Bridgerton House was inspired by Ranger's House in Greenwich, Southeast London, and the inside was inspired by RAF Halton House in Buckinghamshire. 5. Music Last but definitely not least, the background score is so good. In a very clever way, modern songs are given classical covers for the series, which is a fantastic way of storytelling. From Ariana Grande's Thank You Next to Taylor Swift's Wildest Dreams, you can hear a cover of some of the most iconic songs in scenes you would never expect. So yeah, we totally get why everyone from Kim K to Joe Jonas is talking about this show show and we hope you're on board the fangirling train too. That's a wrap for this video. Who's your favorite character from Bridgerton? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.